party. What happened? So remember when you guys were setting up, and then so a man told me to. Just, I think I uh, Jarlene told me to go get food. Yeah. And before that, we were kind of loud in the room. Mm -hmm. So we go out. We go to the balcony. Um, we go to the lounge. And I come back down. Yeah. By myself, I, I go. I go in the the thing. Get the the food real quick. I open the door, but I also hear the the neighbor to our left, our right of us, mm -hmm. open the door at the same time. I've never seen that neighbor before, right? Over here, this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah and and it's, the, it's an old Chinese lady. Yeah. So she opens the door exactly when I open the door and I look at her and she's like, she's holding a wooden stick and she's like, come in, come in. What? Yeah, Why? I didn't tell you that. I was so scared. Why I, was she saying come in? I don't know. So she goes, she goes, come in, come in. I said, oh, no, no, no. My fight or flight like kicked in. I was yeah. like, oh, no, no. I'm, I got, I have somewhere to be. And she's like, no, come in, come in. Why? And then when I was waiting in the elevator, yeah. she was saying stuff I couldn't understand. She's like, uh, whatever, whatever. Oh, she thought you were probably no, related to her. No, no, no. But this is what happened again. So after the party, you left already. So it was only me. Yeah. I don't know why, but I, I swear she times whenever I come out. Because again, when I left the, the building, chick, chick, open the thing, I hear the door on the side also open. Oh, shit. She starts talking to me in a language I can't understand. Yeah. I said, oh, I have to go again. I have to go again. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's weird because it's like, why would she want me in her apartment so bad? No, because you look Chinese fam. <laughs> no, no, but it's no, but, but you get me. You get, she probably thinks because oh, she's older. Maybe she has like Alzheimer's or whatever. Okay. She probably look like her. But grand, why does she always grandson. have a wooden like? I thought she was. She was gonna. She's either two things. She's either gonna page me for being too loud and like hit me or something, or like some some shit else. Nah, that's not because why would she wait for me? Why would she time when I come out? Two times, not once. That's weird. I don't know. I've exactly. seen her before, though. You have? Yeah. And she hasn't said anything to you? No, she just said hello. She said hello. I don't know. That It gave me weird energy. I, I literally just, my fight or flight kicked in. I was like, I'm not dealing with this, bro. Damn, this is just a little old lady. Be nice to your elders, bro. Just literally be nice to your elders. <laughs> no, nah, okay, no, but. Two times, though, fam. This shit's gonna, this shit's gonna blow your mind. Okay. So, during the party, <laughs> yeah. for you guys that don't know, we had a crazy party. Fact. And we had to be quiet because we got noise. I think we had like five, five noise complaints. Yeah. <laughs> We just fucked up. The security guy came in like, <laughs> what the fuck like he the fuck? was he was fucking pressed. Yeah. Anyways, we we took it back down to the condo unit. Mm. Shit, we had so much people in our condo unit. Our condo's not that big. Yeah. But eventually we got a knock on the door. Mm. We're like, oh fuck. Probably everyone quiet, head. everyone quiet. So we look around, everybody's drunk out of their minds, except for who? Julian. Yeah, yeah. He's so Julian, he's a real one. He's like, yo, I got this, I got this, I got this. Everyone quiet, everyone quiet. Yeah. So he goes, he, gets, he checks it out, and he comes back. He's like, okay, guys, we're good, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, we just got to be quiet, right? To this, to this day, I didn't know who was at the door. Like, I didn't know yeah. who opened, blah, blah, blah. I asked Julian, fam. Who was it? The concierge? I, I asked Julian, yo, who was at the door the other night? You know what he said? What? Bro, there was nobody at the door. You guys were just so loud. We needed something to make everybody quiet. This guy, sm this guy was playing three D chess, bro. Yo. He was playing. Oh, think about it, bro. <laughs> so we were so loud. Yeah. How the fuck? How do we quiet everybody down? Authority. We just made everybody think that yo, there's somebody at the door. Everybody hush. Wait. So Julian went out, and knocked himself. No, I don't know who. I don't know who's the one that said. Um. Whoa, that doesn't make any sense now. No, no. Somebody, somebody said somebody's at the door. Okay. But I don't know who confirmed it. I asked Julian. Julian said, yo, nobody was at the door, but I just pretended like there's somebody at the door so everybody stays quiet. Oh, okay. But nobody was at the door. Somebody somebody yelled like, yo, somebody's outside. No, but I did hear a knocking though. I heard a knocking too. <laughs> it was that Chinese <laughs> No, thing. bro. It's just, I told you. She's it's just a placebo, fam. It's just a placebo. <laughs> no, because we just thought, but it wasn't oh. true. Nah, that's fire though. It's smart as Yeah, because all the we were shing for like yeah. for an hour is still loud. They did not care. Yeah, and then yeah. the fact the fact of like us being quiet the whole time, like yeah. it, it made us stay. It's almost that like it's like placebo, but it's it's not. It's yeah. an indirect placebo. You know what I mean? Facts. It's like it, it keeps us on our toes just in uh -huh. case, but it's not for the actual reason. That's so smart though. But I wonder who actually knocked because there was probably a person who actually knocked. I don't think anybody knocked at all. It was probably just like somebody dropped some shit and heard heard the oh, noise. Oh, probably that yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, it's it's yeah. it's like that type of thing reminds you of like oh, there's a ghost. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nobody can confirm there's a ghost, 
nobody can confirm there's a ghost, but maybe just like hearing something yeah. makes us on our toes for that, and then now it becomes real, and then now we become scared. Mm -hmm. So it's like a it's like an illusion <laughs> yeah. that puts us on our feet. Facts, because it was so funny because me and you were both panicking because yeah. we we're like, yeah, we can't. I can't go to the door right now. You can't go to the door right mm -hmm. now. Someone else take it real quick. Yo, that's what it is, fam. And you know what's crazy? So I I did some like uh, psychological research. Mm, okay. And do you know, you know, people that are really, really mean. Yeah. Check this out. There's actually an advantage to being really, really mean to somebody. Why? So if you're mean to somebody straight off the bat, right? Mm -hmm. Any little thing that you do is kind. Yeah. It's going to be amplified. Okay. Because you're so mean the first time. For example, yeah. Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. from, from what we first heard, he's very like arrogant. He's very blah, blah, blah. He's in your face bold yeah. and saying some disrespectful things sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. And it flipped the script. Because content started coming out where he's what? Nice now. And then everyone's nice, like, oh, he's wholesome. a nice wholesome. And then just that, the extreme, uh -huh. and then the little bit of kindness, it changes everything. Because if, yeah. look, let's say, let's say you're in a hot tub. Mm -hmm. If you're in a hot tub and I give you lukewarm water yeah. and I pour it on your head, you can be like, yo, that's cold. Mm -hmm. But it was just fucking lukewarm, bro. Yeah, I know. But I feel like you should just live a genuine life though. It's like, Cause say you put that in a relationship sense, mm -hmm. you do um, you're a dickhead, but you do one thing nice. Cause it can, cause it can kind of counter counteract sometimes and can go wrong. Cause it's like maybe uh, the push and pull is the the push is too much, yeah. and then the pull is not enough. You know. No, but I think what you want to do, okay, for, for people that don't know, the push and pull method is yeah. the greatest method to get any girl you yeah, want. Yeah. So you got to be hot and then you got to be cold. So you got to be like interested and then show disinterest. Yeah. Interested, but show disinterest. But the reason it works is because it has to feel natural. Yeah. Just like anything. If it feels like it's fake and it's, it's like a sham, then yeah, it's not going to work, bro. One of my cousins told me this story. Mm -hmm. So... He, uh, what do you call this? He got his girl by doing the push and pull method, the hot and cold. Yeah. So he uh, told his girl, I, I'm going to pick you up at nine o'clock. I'm going to get you and we go go to dinner, right? Mm -hmm. So nine o'clock comes around. He's not at the door. 10 o'clock comes around. Not at the door. 11 o'clock comes around. Yeah. Still, he says, I still didn't go. You Why? Know, Why? Said, you know where I went? I said, I went to another date and posted it on my Instagram. She saw the Instagram and she's like, what the fuck? This guy's um with another girl. Oh. And right after the date, linked her. <laughs> but it, it was so crazy because it's like, that's um way too much push. Because damn, imagine if but I was- But did it work? It worked. They're married. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Exhibit A. Exactly. <laughs> you feel me? Because look, bro, literally all of these tactics, they're mm. dark tactics, but that shit works, it man. Does. But I don't fuck. That's, but once you know the dark tactics, you don't want to use them just because it's like, I know I'm using these dark tactics. <laughs> no, but okay. Okay. Let's play some morality real quick. Mm, morality. Okay. So- People do these things to you. Mm. Is it fair enough to you do that to them? Yeah, I guess, bro. I'm all about, you know, get back. Or is it is it a Jesus moment where it turn the other cheek and don't do it? Mm. In the situation, I'm doing it back. So no matter what, you, you get your get back? Yeah, I have to, fam. <laughs> if they're purposely doing it to me, fuck, I have to. But what if you don't know they're purposely doing it until later? Then it's too late. So are you going to purposely put your... So let's say some sh dirty shit happened mm. to you and then you realized it because you, you got smarter and you matured, Fuck. do you go back and address it? Or is it already in the past? Fool me one time. Is it like that? Mm. What's the degree of it? Like really bad, something really bad happened? Yeah, bro. Okay. Then Let's I just say something to. bad happened. Then I, ha I think it's human nature that we, we feel that way. Because we feel that emotion of, oh, I got to get like back revenge? revenge. Yeah. Damn, bro. You feel me? Oh, yo, there's yeah. a there's a crazy John Wick theory. Okay. So there's a theory that John Wick, uh -huh. he actually killed his wife. Oh, for what? Why? So you know how in John Wick, the, the whole story is his dog got killed by the mafia. Mm. And then the dog was the last gift his wife gave to him because yeah. she supposedly died of cancer. Mm -hmm. Now, the theory goes that John Wick, he was a notorious hitman, <laughs> one of the greatest killers in the world. Yeah. And his wife was dying. Oh, so shit. he's so used to seeing people die. No and way. the the theory goes that him being used to seeing people go away and, and pass away, watching his wife have to suffer dying yeah. was so tragic to him mm -hmm. that he may have took it upon himself to poison her so it's a, it's a quick death. Because yeah. you can think about it. When assassins go out to murder people, mm -hmm. they don't, make people suffer they just it's just a quick death yeah one shot bomb is done right <sighs> now there's more to it because in john wick 2 
or sorry, it might be John Wick 3 with, you know, Halle Berry's character? Mm -hmm. Halle Berry had a line where he was talking to John and they're talking about, they're talking about sacrificing things. And she said, sometimes you have to kill the people you love. Yeah. And she looked at him in like a certain way that it, it, it almost addressed <clears throat> something that he may have done. Yeah. So the theory is that we're going to see it in John Wick 4. Yeah. John Wick might have actually killed his wife. Fuck, bro. But it makes sense though, because yeah. you wouldn't want to watch somebody you love suffer. You wouldn't. You've, you've gone through, like, uh, people in your family dying, right? Some, yeah. Yeah. That was crazy because um, right before my, my, I think, the last visit I had with my grandma. Mm -hmm. So we were we were just chilling the whole day. And I went in for a hug. You know when you got finally say your goodbyes? Yeah. I went f in for a hug. And then I don't know what, what went through my mind, but it was like a voice. It was like, go hug her again. I didn't Word, know Word. That. that was I the did, last time? Like, I promise you I'm not making this up. She's Something in my head was like, you have to go hug her one more time. So I went in for a second hug, and Damn. then I, and then we left. And then that that night, she passed away. Holy! Yeah. Something in my mind, it was like God telling me this is this might be the last. But time she was already it. sick, right? Yeah. yeah so kind of, like kind of. It it wasn't like she was like ready to go. It's like mm. she's sick, but it's like I could probably see her tomorrow. But then God was like, no, you have to see her one more. You have to go in Damn. for that last one. It, it was a weird feeling. I've never felt that before. That's crazy. Yeah. Have you ever had moments like that where it, it almost feels like it's it's impossible this is what life is? Like you know, you know those you know those moments that's like, yo, this is this is literally like a movie moment. Like it's it's too it's too much of a coincidence. I don't know too. I think because that same night, uh, that same day, yeah. I also took a. I was holding her hand. And I was rubbing her hand. Mm -hmm. I don't know what made me do this, but I have a. I took a video of me rubbing her hand. Yeah. And I was like, why? Why did I do all this? Because I didn't really need to, to do remember. To yeah, remember. to remember. It was like something was telling me that day, like, to do all the things right now because you might not see her again. It was fun. That's how you gotta live in general, though. I feel like yeah. we never really bag that everybody can go in an instant like this. Yeah, bro. Even the world itself can go in an instant like this. Mm, we don't yeah. control shit. I know. We're, we're at the mercy of God. Feel me? Like, for all we know, like, a nuke could be falling right now. No, nah, don't even say that, <laughs> No, but the, the reality is mm. you don't control that stuff. Yeah. But the stuff you can control, like your mood, yeah. the way you live life, the way you meet people mm. and interact with people, you can control. Yeah. So would you want to live life, like, freaking... Oh, humbug. Like, you know what I yeah, mean? That's, you wouldn't. That type of shit. Or would you want to live happy anyway? Mm -hmm. I think I think at the party that really reminded me, because I was so in the present. I kept reminding myself when I was having fun, like, oh, don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm going to do, like, we're getting food after. Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm going to stay in the present. I, I swear to God, if you saw me that night, I was smiling the whole night. When, when, when was this? The party. The party. Remember when we were running out and we had to get the garbage bags? Usually, oh. usually, usually me, you know, I would be like, fuck. But me and you were dying, like we were we were smiling because it's like, <laughs> nah, nothing's gonna happen. Like we're just living life. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, no, I I love I love moments of distress nah, because yeah. I'm calm. <laughs> Because no. in any other, if it was just me, I would be fucked, man. I'm getting kicked out. Yeah. No, but it, it, I feel like that that kind of cheeses people too. Because mm. sometimes when when shit is in shambles, <laughs> my mom gets pissed off because I'm calm, or my sister gets pissed off because I'm calm. Me too. We laugh it off. Is is that a problem? Do you think that's a problem? It's not. It's just some people don't understand it, so we have to live with the. Mm -hmm. Oh, take it serious. No, you don't have to take no, everything in life serious. Do you, th do you think um, if somebody's a little bit too, so let's say the atmosphere is is serious as fuck, <laughs> but some somebody's laughing. Does that throw everything off? Or is it a, is it a blessing? It's a blessing, low-key. Because your mindset is way different than everyone else's. Mm. <laughs> I would, but if I was on the other side, yeah, I would get pissed. But I was like, maybe that would be a, a, a memory to be like, oh, let me, let me try that way. You know, let me not, let me take it off. It's some stress. Mm, I guess so. But okay, but let, let, let's, say, let's say you're, um, you're going to go into like a battle. Okay. And then your, your boy beside you dies laughing. That could be a good thing. Why? Because it's like, he's not afraid to death. He's not afraid to go. I'm with a guy who's loco. <laughs> you can't fuck with loco. You know? But, oh, word. Sometimes the... But does that throw it off? No, fam. That might throw it off for me, fam. No, I don't think so. I think I would be like, oh, I'm going into battle with a crazy man. <laughs> no, that's fucked. Yo, I had a dream just last night. I, I gotta tell you this. Okay, let me hear it. So, Lily, just last night... I had this crazy dream with freaking um it was like it was like I was in Squid Game. So listen. Okay. So I had I was put in like teams. Okay. So I think there was like seven teams of different people my age. And we're doing like obstacle courses and shit. Mm. But we didn't know why we were there. We didn't know each other's names. And 
we didn't even know like is this a dream or is this real life yeah so you just described Squid Game. <laughs> no 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 we didn't know if this was a dream or real life so check this out okay now i don't know why the fuck but there was one guy in there that looked like lawrence fishburne oh, you know what? who lawrence fishburne is yes, bro. what that's so <laughs> from the matrix right yeah, yeah so i'm like yo what the fuck he looks like lawrence fishburne and i remembered the matrix uh, and then what happened in my dream bro what? so the whole premises of it mm. was we're stuck in this obstacle course. We're put into separate teams. We're all competing against each other. Mm -hmm. We don't know why. We're just put into the game. Yeah. And then I'm like, wait, what if I just stop? What if I just exit and walk away? Because what if this is a dream? Okay. And then that's where I became conscious. And that's where we became conscious. And it was almost as if I entered the consciousness <laughs> that the simulation didn't want me to enter. Oh. So so what happened the rest of the the rest of my dream was uh -huh. like I was running away from people that were controlling the games. So it was oh. like, you know the Squid Game enemy yeah. or the Squid like Game the like VIPs, VIPs. Not even the VIPs, the guards and shit. Oh. They were mad that I that I exited, I ejected. Yeah. So it's like I was out of the matrix. Oh, like you gain consciousness. Yeah, yeah. It's like I was out of the matrix. I wasn't supposed to. Because mm -hmm. I was supposed to compete. I was supposed to like yeah. fight everybody. That's one thing in dreams. Well, I just that, dipped out. I'm like, yo, this, I'm not doing this. Why would I do this? Yeah. That's one thing in dreams that, uh, that I read about. If you piss off the people in the dreams, they start running after you. Especially when you ask for time or mm -hmm. they know you've gained consciousness. Because yeah. I've had dreams where it's like, oh, uh, lucid dreams. Where I'm like, yo, what time is it? And then the guy that I'm talking to is like, and just free, what the fuck? And just free, yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to, because in dream there's no time. So Word. obviously you you seem stupid to them. Yo, okay, so the end of the dream was the craziest part too. Okay, so we are running away. We are like driving. We are hopping in airplanes and shit. What the fuck? Yeah, and eventually we hopped into airplane and we're being chased by like more helicopters or whatever. Yeah, and. I was with Lawrence Fishburne and somebody else. I don't know who else it was. Yeah, somebody, yeah. somebody else. And I, I remember the names. Like, there, was, there was names like of people, and I felt like I knew them, but I didn't yeah. know them. It was weird as fuck. Okay. But anyways, we're in this plane, and we all look at each other like, "Damn, like, what's the end? Are we just gonna keep running?" Mm. And like, nah, bro, this is what we do. And then he go. Lawrence Fishburne goes, Vrrr, and then takes the airplane high, and I'm, it's like really fun. It's like, oh shit, it's so yeah. much fun, and it's like. This is it, bro. Boom. And I crash to the airplane. I wake up. Oh, hell no. Now, check this out. I elaborated my dream. Okay. Now, what if the world is like that obstacle course? Mm. So we're put against each other to chase materialistic things. Mm. We're in a competition that doesn't even make sense. Why am I competing with other people like me for what? To chase death. Same outcome. We're all going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Why are we all flexing on each other with different things? We all have a different life, right? <laughs> Who's to say I can't just stop playing that game mm. and just walk out? But what do you mean by walk out, though? You can't do that. No, mindset-wise. Mindset-wise. So you you still use Instagram every single day. Why? Mm, addiction. No, but let's, let's narrow it down to the addiction. Like, what's the premises? You go on there to see what? other people's lives exactly but why are you curious about other people's lives i don't know it's because um what do you call this instagram has made it so like connect the world connected i feel it, like, yeah because it's we're guinea pigs right now mm -hmm. the internet's i feel like the internet doesn't know what it's doing because it's connecting people with like me with people yeah. that i don't even i should even care about like mm -hmm. why am i so concerned about a guy in russia like that shouldn't even happen. But you know why you're concerned? Why? It's because it becomes a competition. So just like in my mm. dream, we're all put against each other in this obstacle course yeah. that we don't even know why the fuck we're doing it. <laughs> and for what? At the end of the day, we all just die anyway. Yeah. And who's controlling it? The guards and who are the real guards? Damn. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah. And then if we dip out okay. and don't take part in this quote unquote matrix, yeah, yeah. what happens to you? But even if you dip out, how long can you keep running? So if the like, whole world is like that, okay. what's the point of keep running? So you want to stay in the system. That's no, what makes it. But let's say, let's, oh shit, this is, this where it gets deep, fam. Uh -huh. like, okay. Let's say, let's say the world is, is the matrix, right? Mm -hmm. And you know the truth. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stay in the matrix? Because what are you going to do with the truth now that you know it? You can't, you're going to spread it, but it's like how many people, you, everyone's going to think you're crazy. So... I think like theoretically, let's say, let's say theoretically th this world was an actual simulation mm. and some people knew it was an actual simulation. Theoretically. I think I would, 
I would just probably stay with the in the matrix, but I would hold on to that secret. But how can you live like that, fam? I, I don't know, bro. Like, I would rather. <laughs> fuck, it's too stressful just thinking of like, what would I do with that information? That's like I'm God now. Like, I could take people out the the system. Mm-hmm. Would you? I don't think you would. There's no way. I don't know. Are we doing that right now? Are we doing this right now? No, but but <laughs> on like a lower level. On a lower level, but like I'm I just wanna I just wanna like make people think for themselves yeah. and not necessarily like pull them out of what they're doing. Yeah. I mean but I know. Think about that, bro. Know, bro. It's a, there was a meme that I saw where it's like um they with the the higher ups wave something in your face every year. So it's like uh the coronavirus, the vaccine, blah blah blah. And this one on twenty twenty three I saw was aliens. And oh, the alien UFOs. Yeah, yeah. And, and I didn't know if you saw they shot the US shot down a high altitude object mm-hmm. in um where was it? It was it was near Canada, right? In like yeah, Yukon? It was, Oh, in Alaska. Yeah, Alaska. Yeah. Yeah, so this yeah, happened yeah. two days, like three days ago. Mm-hmm. And the whole interview, they were saying, oh, Biden was like, they confirmed it. They were like, yeah, there was a high altitude object. Let's shoot that down. Mm. So it's like, well, what is that? What does that say? Well, that could be anything. That could just be like a war drone or whatever. But I don't know. I have these theories where it's like, since recently, there's also been many sinkholes that have appeared everywhere. So sinkholes. I don't know if you saw in China, there was a sinkhole and going back to the hollow earth theory, how in China they found in the sinkhole on uh, what do you call this? A forest with trees and species that we would have seen in like 200 years. Oh, yeah. so it opened it up. Exactly. So look, and there's more. I'll read out all the sinkholes that have been pop- popping up recently. Yeah. Because I, I actually did research on this shit. So, so there's one in Detroit. A guy got his car stuck in a fat sinkhole, like one filled with water. He didn't even know it was there. Lower Nazareth, there was one in a farm field, right? Mm. New York and even places like Turkey. And a Wait, s- how is this not on the news? Is this yeah. I don't know. It's not on the news. It was it's literally on, like, you have to search for it. Damn. So, so there was a ski resort in Russia that had a big one too. Yeah. And so I have a theory that since there's all these sinkholes, that there's that means there's evidence of cities and tunnels underground mm. and that they've expanded so much that the land that we're on right now is sinking into those oh and you shit. know why it connects so- to the aliens because those tunnels are for the upcoming alien attack like people have been planning this to, to exit to exit it. out but it, it's been exposing itself like the world has been exposing itself because they're expanding it way so like the big. hollow earth theory how how the advanced civilization is yeah. under us yeah Kafam, it, it's like that shit should be true because it's like you talk about the hollow earth that made sense in China. Fam, there's species there that we don't even know about. It could be true, bro. But the only problem I have with the hollow earth thing is like mm-hmm. if there really was a hollow earth, mm-hmm. why wouldn't we just connect it with them? Like, let's say there is species under us. Why wouldn't we? But They're probably hiding it. But why though? Like, what what do they have that we can't have? Or what? what what's like a new world? No, not just that though. Like what? Let's say there's a new world. Mm-hmm. Okay, a new world, but what? What's there? Feel me? Like food, it, water, and all the all the it, necessary. Yeah, is there is live. there natural resources that yeah. we shouldn't be able to have? Oh, okay, like specifics. Yeah, like what is there? I don't know. Probably it's just like that's their that's their they're gonna start they're gonna restart it when every sh- all the shit goes down, mm-hmm. and then they're just gonna go into the hollow earth while we while this shit goes to shit. Damn. You feel me? I saw I saw this TikTok recently, mm-hmm. and they found out where. The quote unquote devil yeah. lives in the world. So there's the a specific fuck? place uh-huh. of where hell is on earth. Oh word. So in the Bible, yeah. Jesus said, I think, I think he said, one of my one of my disciples, or not disciple, but like teachers mm-hmm. named Antipas would die and be martyred, right? Uh-huh. Now, St. Antipas was murdered and he was killed in, you know, that, that torture bowl. Mm-hmm. So they put somebody in like a metal bowl and like boil them yeah, alive. Boil it, okay. Yeah. So that happened in Geneva, Switzerland. Okay. So people are saying Geneva, Switzerland is like the, is the literal place of hell <laughs> It's literally the portal to hell. Or that's at least where the devil resides, because that's what it says in the Bible. Now check this out. Okay. Do you know what else is in Geneva, Switzerland? What? CERN. Oh. CERN fuck. headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland, oh, yeah. and the CERN logo is what? Six. Yeah, is, six. Yeah. Six, fam. And people say that 
CERN is working on particle generation yeah. and messing with matter of the universe to what? To trans to to tear to tear our dimension with the supernatural and the natural fam. Uh, yeah. So so what if theory? They're trying to open the, the portal to hell, bro. I, know. I talked about that too, about the CERN thing yeah, and yeah. how they were dancing. Mm -hmm. Fam, that's what other ritual could they be doing unless they're they're uh worshiping the devil, you feel me? Yeah, bro. That makes so much sense. Think about that. Bro, what the fuck? Why the fuck? Do they have the 666 on the logo? Mm -hmm. And what are they really doing with the particles? Come on, bro. Why are they experimenting <laughs> with that shit? What do they want from that shit? Nothing. And I think uh, I also talked about, uh, uh, I think the tunnel of hell, mm -hmm. the uh, abandoned uh, castle, yeah. was also called the gates of hell because a lot of people disappeared from that. I think that's in Switzerland too. The, the, the castle Hoska? Oh, is that what it's called? It might, it might be. It might be. I don't know. You, you're the one that told me this. I know, Castle Hosko, right? It was so long ago. It was so long ago. I, That's I in Switzerland? Where, yeah. It, it might be. I think it's from like s some Europe country. If it is, then it's 100% confirmed. <clears throat> Damn, what the fuck is going on in Switzerland? What, what is Switzerland known for? Uh, Switzerland. Swiss Army Knives? Swiss Army Knives. What? Oh, pastries? shit. Pastries? Isn't it known for pastries or am I... Yeah, chocolates. Chocolates. Okay. Cho yeah, chocolates. Chocolates. But yeah, I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> and what's it's the color of the flag? Red. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy theories nowadays. Yo, yo. Swiss oh. Army knife. What are they used for? Head ass, bro. Killing. <laughs> wait, wait, did that uh, information come from just the internet? No, this is like in the Bible too. Oh, word? No, because there's um a missing book in the Bible called the Enoch. Oh, Enoch? yeah, Enoch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I didn't know this, but I think they took it out because there's some details that aren't, isn't supposed to be shown like to the public. Yeah, something. they didn't want it. They, they didn't, didn't want it in the show, final yeah. copy of the Bible. So, so they took it out, and I didn't know that uh, angels started giving humans powers like uh, that they needed to survive. Like, uh, what do you call this? Um, getting food and shit like that. And then they started uh, to mate with these humans, and that's where oh, shit. that's where giants came from because they angels has mated with the regular humans, and that's that's in they, that's in the book of Enoch. I think yeah, I never read it, so I don't yeah. actually know. Look into it though. I feel it's like yo it's the va you know the Vatican has thousands and thousands of secrets that we don't oh, even yeah. know what the fuck For sure. it's scary, yeah. they know the true beginning <clears throat> of the world mm -hmm. compared to any other like there's no documents right mm -hmm. there's literally no documents in the world yeah that are as secret as the Vatican mm. but maybe it's like if you do know those secrets you're gonna pull a Andrew Dawson and go missing you feel me but what do you think they're hiding though huh Mm, what the number nine in numerology means? <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what that shit means. No, because I think okay, th this is literally what I think, bro. Because uh -huh. the Bible is kind of straightforward sometimes. How is there not like a map of everything in the Bible like that's up to date? You know what I mean? What do you mean? So you know how there's stories in the Bible that this happened here, this happened there, this happened there. Yeah, they had maps back in the day. They had places uh -huh. in the world. Like I know there's some. Like, for example, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, mm -hmm. all those other things. Yeah. But stories of miracles that happen, stories of other things that happen. How come that's not all mapped out or is it? Maybe I don't know. Mm. Maybe it is, but maybe I don't know. You know, you don't know? I don't know. I don't think it is. Because it's like, yeah, it's, it's hidden for a reason, bro. Would you want to know? Yes, I want to know. But then that means you're going to have a target on your head. No, that's not going to have a target. Yes, it is. But Why? Because no, because look, look. Okay. Because what if, what if these spiritual places they have some significance that if you go there and then you can actually contain energy, or that place itself is sacred? Because like, there has to be. Look, how many miracles have there happened in the world? Mm -hmm. Plenty, right? Yeah. But how come we can't just like go to this exact location of a miracle and like check it out? Because all those people have disappeared, bro. That probably found that book. You get what I'm saying? They disappeared. That found the book. Yes. Cause I feel like once you find some secret hidden message, like they'll they'll know to take you out like right away. Cause remember in the fucking movie, uh, uh, the Serbian one. I oh, no no not the Serbian one. Which one? Which one? Uh, the one where they took shrooms, bro. Oh, Midsommar. Midsommar. As soon as he got to the book and started reading it, yeah. he turned around, boom, murdered. Mm. Oh, one thing I one thing I noticed about Midsommar, yeah, is you know how in Midsommar they 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 took the the kid mm -hmm. that was 
not mentally there. Yeah. And they worshipped they worshipped him like he was the leader. Okay. So everything that he wrote about or created, uh -huh. they followed. I'm not saying we should do that, uh -huh. but isn't it interesting how kids they have an imagination that's way different from from adults when they mature. Mm -hmm. Now I have a theory. Okay. You know how we don't give kids like fluoride toothpaste? Oh, so their their brain isn't blocked by those chemicals. Yeah. So they they just tell the real. So what if because you know how fluoride is in the water now, fluoride yeah. is everywhere. Because I was talking about, I was literally at the dentist the other day. And I was yeah, talking yeah. about it, and no, it was it was it was actually my aunt because she's my hygienist. Okay. <laughs> okay. And we're getting we're getting into like a little uh, a debate, mm. but she was pretty much saying like, "Oh, this is for your dental health, blah blah." blah. I'm like, "Damn, yeah, it probably is," mm -hmm. but how is there not an alternative that doesn't have detrimental effects to fluoride? Mm. Like, like fluoride. But you can go out right now as an adult and go get non-fluoride toothpaste or no, that's not. You can, thing. yeah. Okay. But why do we put it in the water? Like we know it's a neurotoxin and we know that it affects our brain. And we know that like literal poison control says yeah. if you can, if you take too much fluoride, like you have to call poison control. Mm -hmm. But the amount of fluoride to call poison control is in the same amount of your toothpaste that you put on every morning. I told you it's agenda fam. That's what they want. Unless you're like a time traveler and you come back and like, no, that's where you get all your ideas from. But everything else blocked off by the, the stuff we eat. Now think about it. When you were a kid, bro, mm. and we were still using the like the, the flavored toothpaste that didn't have no fluoride and shit. Mm. Your mind was probably going wild. It probably was. But uh, it kind of depends on the people because your mind can still go wild at this age, though. I guess. I think it's like when you're in school the remember i think school is just meant to break you down all the creativity even my grade 8 teacher said oh yeah if i didn't break down your creativity by the end of this year i did the wrong job and he said that to me like he said that to the Wait, whole what class. do you mean by that so like you know how in um when you're still in school you still have all this creativity and yeah. you shit you want to do mm -hmm. but my grade 8 teacher said oh i'm gonna make it so simple that this this course so simple that by the end of it if you're if your creative juices are still working then i failed Damn, yeah. why do you say that shit? I don't know. He's like one of those humbug type guys, you know? Oh. Yeah. We should fire every single teacher like that, in my yeah, opinion. I, know. I think the best one, uh, uh, what do you call this? The the video where the guy's like, oh, you guys, who he was spitting facts, he's like, mm -hmm. oh, you teachers could connect with a kid, or you guys, all you teachers can can write stuff on the board, but if you really connect with a kid, that that's what means the most, and shit like that. Yeah. But he's the one that get that's getting kicked out of class. Damn. And that teacher is just literally working for minimum wage. I seen I seen a video of this Japanese teacher before yeah. he walks into the classroom because he's a teacher and yeah. he wants to do a good job. Mm -hmm. He walks up. This is security camera footage. Mm -hmm. Him walking in the hallway to the classroom. He's, his face is like he, he looks depressed. Yeah. But he stands in the middle of the hallway mm -hmm. and just takes like, I want to say like 20 seconds, bro. And he smiles and he like brings himself to a, a positive <laughs> energy. Uh -huh. He goes like this. Yeah. And then he walks in. Oh, fuck. So this guy was not having a good day, but he knew if he had a bad day, he would affect every single child in that room. That's a real tip. So before he walks in, he changes his whole mood and puts on a fake persona or whatever mm. it, it takes for them yeah. to be happy with him. Yeah. Because the moment like he walks in there and then gives like negative energy, what does that transfer to? Because every single time somebody with authority has that energy is going to go to everybody else. Because we look up to authority, right? Not even necessarily authority, but like people of higher importance, whatever, yeah. higher importance. That shit affects you. Yeah. There was some crazy story that happened of a, about a doppelganger teacher mm -hmm. in France. So there was like, um, there was a 32 year old woman teacher yeah. that literally in, in the 16, in her 16 years of teaching, she switched schools 19 times and oh, people yeah. didn't understand why. And it's because, um, she apparently had a doppelganger that she didn't notice. What do you mean? Like, so I'll tell you the story. So yeah. there was three occurrences, right? So one of them, all the students were sitting down. She was teaching the class. She turns around and she starts drawing on the, on the chalkboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the students noticed that there's something right beside her that's copying her exact motion. Mm. Lily's right beside her. But when she turns around and she asks the class what's going on, they're like, oh, what the fuck? She disappeared. What the fuck? Yeah. So next, second, same day, yeah. she goes into the lunchroom. There's a couple students in there too. She starts eating and, and students are telling her, miss, miss, 
there's literally someone right beside you who's eating and copying your motion. What? And she's like, there's no one, there's no one there. Yeah, yeah. You know? And this is the third one where she finally got kicked out. So there was a substitute teacher filling in for her, Mm -hmm. right? So the kids, everyone's normal. The real teacher walks in. One kid goes out in the hallway and sees the teacher, the teacher that just came in outside the hallway. Mm. Every, he goes back in the classroom like, oh no, there's two of her. Oh, right? shit. So he had the balls yeah. to go up and like touch her and feel like what it was. Yeah. You know what it felt like? What? She said it felt like a hard cloth. So And what so happened what right after it? when he went to the class, tried to tell the teacher, the teacher came out with him. No one was there. What the fuck? You know what happened? She got kicked out because they were getting so the the school was getting so much complaints that she, she they were seeing double of her. Yo, it's okay. It's 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 either like a ghost. Mm-hmm. It has to be a ghost, a demon, or that's just a glitch in the matrix, fam. I know that's she's just glitching. <laughs> yeah, because why would she? You know the you know when the glitches go and then yeah, there's yeah, like yeah, another yeah. one of you probably. Yo, yo, I, I I don't know if I told you this, uh, but I had this crazy prank idea. Okay. And I wanted I want to do this so bad. <laughs> but it takes like a really gullible person. Mm. So me. <laughs> nah, nah. I want to take I was gonna do this with my cousin before. Okay. I want to take pictures of my whole family, mm-hmm. like including all my cousins, and add somebody else in the picture to every single family photo <laughs> now it doesn't have to be photoshop it could yeah. even be new new pictures okay but just like hella 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 of them right mm-hmm. and convince everybody in the family to to tell her oh yeah this is our cousin this is our cousin blah blah, blah. yeah it's like what <laughs> so imagine you had like a family member that never I'm, existed it's like a mandela effect person a lot of mandela effect grangy yeah <laughs> yeah who's that imagine Nah, i would freak out no, that's like the the smiling man I talked about. What's the smiling? Oh, Remember yeah, the yeah, one just that shows up, shows up pictures? in pictures. Yeah, 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 I would think that's a, like an omen. That's like, oh yeah, someone someone's gonna die soon. How come there's not a lot of pranksters anymore? I just realized that. Mm, I think the world is becoming too soft. To be honest, you think it's too soft? Yeah, because it's like even if you do the slightest prank, like you go into a university room, mm-hmm. professor, call the cops. You can't even do shit like that no more. Yeah. Why do you think Gideon hasn't like done his shit in like ten months? That's true. He just had a video. Yeah, yeah his he, pranks are like, you feel me? They can only go so far. Damn. But I feel like there's always there's always entertainment in trolling. Oh yeah, for sure. There's always entertainment in trolling, but it there's like it, it rubs some people the wrong way. I thought I thought this was a troll, but Shakira I I found out there's news that Shakira broke up with her husband just cause of grape jelly. And I thought it was a troll. Wait, why? So fucking, you know, um Shakira and Jared Jared PK. Yeah, yeah. They were dating for eleven years, right? Mm-hmm. I heard stories on the the news. Whenever she came into the kitchen, she had grape jelly in her cabinet, right? Mm-hmm. And she doesn't. She hates grape jelly. Mm. Her husband doesn't eat grape jelly, and her kids don't. So she's trying to do the math. Every time she goes in her house, why is why is the grape jelly getting eaten more and more? Oh, it's getting lower and lower. And lower and lower. Oh so, shit! So she puts down the pieces. News comes out. Yeah. Jared PK is cheating with another girl. And whenever that girl comes into the house, she eats the she jam. She eats the jelly. Oh, fuck. And finally, she's like, oh, yeah, I'm getting a divorce. I know what you're doing to me because yeah. you're cheating on me. Damn. So that was the proof? <laughs> that was the proof. That was, a, that was the, all the proof she needed. Damn. And, and she didn't even know that she was getting cheated on. She just based it off the grape jelly. And she was like, oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and she was right. And she was right. And she so got the, the guy confessed and shit. Yeah. Damn. I thought that shit was a troll, fam. <laughs> Off the food. That's that's pretty smart though. That's pretty that's smart. Now, nah, well, one of one of the. So I remember. <laughs> yeah. One of the craziest moments was uh-huh. Steph was so pissed at me one time. Okay. Secretly. Yeah. Because she saw my sister's um hair hair clip. Oh. You know those hair clips that, that it's like a cheetah print? Mm-hmm. That shit was like, it was in my room oh. and it's so obvious that it's not, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Why would you wear that? Oh. No, it was my, she, like, she left it. It was my sister yeah, that yeah. left it. Oh. But her seeing that, she was furious in her head, fam. Damn. It takes like something as little as that. Yeah, bro. Nah, cheating is fucked though. Like I don't, I've never understood why men cheat. Just tell your girl that you don't want, you don't want to be with her, bro. I think the the real reason people cheat is because they just want more out of something. But do you think, look, 
Do you think there's ever a right reason to cheat? Oh, that's a crazy take. Mm, right reason to cheat? No, bro. Like, why? Why? It's like, I guess there's a feeling of like, oh, it feels good and men's are just kinky like that. But other than mm-hmm. that, I don't think you should. What else reason would there be that you could come up with? I don't know. Yeah. No, but I think it's... Damn, bro. Do you think... Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. This is a... Look, look. Do you think it's better for someone to cheat early? Let's say they're going to cheat regardless. Oh. Do you think it's better to cheat on someone early before it's too late? <laughs> early Yo. still. Early still. <laughs> yeah, early. Think about that, though. Yeah, no, because... Cause um one of my friends is like she kind of goes through the same shit that um uh one of my other friends went through and it's like when do you break it off like you know it's getting um your relationship is very like draining yeah it's to the point where it's like even when he texts you you're like, he's you're like oh like why is he texting me it's that bad but obviously mm-hmm. in her heart she's so loyal right yeah, yeah. that she doesn't want to end it and I've been telling her like fam like obviously it's not my my role to to tell you what to do but I have to tell her that. You got to look at the signs, bro. If you drag it on, mm-hmm. what's going to happen? There's going to be, it's going to hurt you in the long run rather than him because you have been saving him and you've been going through traumas and you're not, you're not killing it just even though you should. Mm, yeah. You feel me? Because honestly, if there's a problem right away, I would rather address it like but right that second. how would you tell somebody who's so loyal to be like, ah, oh, fam, you like indirectly like you bro come on now no but even look i look at it like this if there's going to be a conflict anyway address the conflict right away yeah. even if it's like a beef between friends right let's say my my one friend is beefing with my other friend and they want to fight yeah why don't they fight that second and, and solve it because the moment they solve it right there boom what's after no because i think people don't like confrontation it's like it's like uh what do you call this they're hiding they're hiding from from the fight yeah so um uh one one thing i learned is um when I get mad yeah. before, I always used to put my phone away and and self self reflect. Yeah. But that's that's a that's a bad coping mechanism because I don't want to ch- face the challenge front. You mm, feel me? Mm. Out front. I don't want to pick up my phone, say I'm wrong and shit. I want to yeah, drag yeah. it on as as long as possible, and that's really wrong. And I've I've. It was like to, procrastination. Yeah. That's like it's like procrastinating on on mm. difficult things. Yeah, and that's the worst thing. That's the worst thing, especially with a fight, because that person. You you say you love that person. You don't want to drag emotions on for too long. Yeah, you feel me? That's that. I had to fix that right away. Still, damn. Yeah. One of the most exciting things about a new year is that you have no idea what adventures are in store for you. From new travel experiences to new jobs or picking up new skills, there's no better way to prepare for 2023 than by learning a new language with Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, you can feel confident no matter where the new year takes you. So just recently, I was out at a dinner and one of the servers came up to me and asked me for my name. And of course, you guys know my name is Carlos, a very Spanish prominent name. However, the server started talking to me in Spanish and I didn't know how to reply. So because of that situation, I decided to start learning Spanish with Babbel. And honestly, I've been learning so much, I'll be able to reply if another scenario like that ever happens again. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson so you can start having real life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks other language learning apps uses ai for their lesson plans but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, plus Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to the lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash jumpers. That's babbel.com slash jumpers for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. No, I just remembered that shit. So part of the dream, this is important. This is really important <laughs> to the to the dream story. That was like 20 minutes ago. I know that's so long ago, yeah. but yo, in my dream, mm-hmm. part of the things that took us out of the matrix. Yeah was having, you know, those silica gel packs that's like, do not eat. <laughs> and you ate it and you're like, ah, boom. <laughs> no, but but I think in my in my head, it's like a metaphor of like doing shit you're not supposed to do. So those silica gel packs, right? It straight up says, do not eat. Yeah. What would happen if you <laughs> ate it? 
<laughs> no facts. Yo, I, I don't know. I always question like, what is the real purpose? I know there's a purpose, but like, I always question like. What the fuck is the purpose of that, bro? Oh, for the gel packs? Yeah, the gel no, packs. No, let's take out moisture and shit. Oh, okay. But think about it. Is uh-huh. there anything else in life that has a straight up do not, do not, do eat. not eat? There's do nothing, not. there's literally nothing else in life that's like straight up do not eat. Like there's obviously like poison signs <laughs> yeah, and shit, shit like but straight up like do not eat. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in life besides the silica gel packs. Do not eat. Do not, think about it, think about it. Like, there's nothing else in the world that's like so straight up that do not do something. Besides the silicone gel packs. No, nah, there <laughs> definitely is, bro. There definitely is. I'm just forgetting. Because it's the indirect, like the expire, expire tags. But that's like that. best before. Oh, yeah, best before. That's, that, that's not do not eat. Okay, yeah. Do not eat after. There's do not enter and do not go here, but yeah. There's Yo, you know what I had to be careful? I had to be careful of um chia seeds because Sorry. I started eating chia seed pudding, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't know this. Yeah. If you eat chia seeds dry, yeah. you could die. What? So if you take a if you take a spoonful of my chia seeds right now yeah. and just swallow that shit, you could choke on it and die. Oh, okay, choke on it. I thought it was like a health, like you can't eat too much. Yeah, I think that too. Like oh, you okay. can't have too much of it. Yeah. But I know specifically if you take it, because the, the chia seeds, right? Mm-hmm. They expand. I think like six times their size. Oh fuck. Because of because of moisture. Yeah. So if you put that and then let's say you eat it dry, there's mm-hmm. remnants in your throat pause, mm-hmm. and that is gonna phlegm up and then. Cause yourself to choke and then you can't breathe. So somebody actually died of eating chia seeds straight up. You how how'd you find out about that? You read the label? No, nah, I, I, I googled it. it. Oh, no, okay. I googled. It's not on there. It's not on there. Yo. Well, but like straight up, like I, if I didn't know that shit, I probably just like throw yeah. it in my mouth. Now. I thought you. I thought that's what you were doing because you were doing that with honey. <laughs> and the honey, I was like, I was like, what the honey's fuck? all right. Okay. Honey's all right because it's natural and shit. Yeah. <laughs> the craziest thing, bro. I seen a video where there were bare girls at the strip club, right? Mm-hmm. And there was a guy who took a video, my friend, <laughs> of a guy with a henny, right? Yeah. And he had the honey. He's like, yo, if y'all try to get activated, I'm about to put the honey in the henny. <laughs> and then you mix that shit up. And, and I guess the honey packs make everyone horny. And that's like what it's supposed to do. Like that's the main purpose. So people go to the club with honey on them? Yeah. Just that's so, crazy. Just so if they, if they go, if uh, the night goes on and they find that there's other girl, they take them home. They have extreme stamina, bro. And you know what's crazy? A crazy yeah. duo. They're saying, uh, you know those uh, trampoline socks? Mm-hmm. Those uh, sky, what was it? Those trampoline the, socks. Um, the grippy ones. The sky zone. Yeah, the sky yeah, zone yeah. socks plus the honey. Best combo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. <laughs> hot take though. Hot take. Yeah, yeah. Is doing that drugging somebody? Oh. oh. Is it considered drugging somebody, fam? No, because he said it. <laughs> he oh, he it said out. it. He said yeah, it up. He yelled it out. He's like, "Yo, if anyone's trying to get activated, this one has the." Honey oh, okay, in it. okay, okay. Yeah, obviously, no, but it, like for something like honey, because it, it's, it's just a food, right? Everything should come with consent, though. You feel me? You shouldn't just even if it's, if it's honey, you shouldn't be pouring. Yo, honey. bag this because yeah. some some people are allergic to peanuts. Some people have peanuts in the food, bro. Exactly. You could kill. You could murder somebody by putting peanuts in their food. Exactly. Knock on wood, but like, yeah. feel me? Yeah. That's cr- yo. Imagine is can can you really get consent every time? I guess you have to be due diligence yourself, right? Yeah, I guess. But to if it, ask, but if it's like odd, like you obviously wouldn't expect peanut in honey. You know I mean? mm. Like no, just be smart with what you're consuming. Yeah, but I consume like obscure things. I guess because there's always like random ingredients in my food sometimes, right? Yeah. That's true. Like I have cashews and shit in my chicken. Yeah. You press it? M. There we go. <laughs> I knew it was blue. <laughs> I had a feeling. But yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Cashews in your chicken. Because technically, oh, hear me out. Ready? Mm-hmm. Technically, is there not chemicals in food that are the same as drugs that you can find and then put it together? And then you can use the same effects of it? Mm-hmm. Maybe not to the same like amount Agreed. of doses. But I know, for example, <clears throat> um, grapefruit. If you eat yeah. too much of it, it's bad for you if you're already on heart medication. Oh, where? Mm-hmm. It'll fuck you up because you're already heart- taking heart medication and yeah. the grapefruit is supposed to lower your, your blood your blood pressure. Yeah. So it could go extremely low if you eat too much. Oh, where? I didn't know that. Now, check this out. Yeah. This is crazy. But you know how every single piece of water we drink mm-hmm. is recycled? Recycle? What do you mean? So you get water from the tap, right? Yeah, you, and it purifies. Yeah, it purifies. It goes through the cells, the system. Uh-huh. But you could be drinking water from like two hundred years ago. Oh, you know, like those uh, big gallons that you buy, even if you, even the little water bottles, you don't know where that came from. You're saying. Not even that. I'm just saying mm. the the concept of water itself has been recycled and recycled and recycled. Is there ever new water? 
That guy. Because it, it's precipitation. You don't remember science class? Yeah. It's precipitation. It's from the lake, and then it goes back, and then... I bet you some of the tap water was probably pooing at w- one point. Feel me? Ew, bro. Now I'm going to be thinking about that too much. Think about it. Now, this is where it gets crazy, right? Mm-hmm. There's conspiracies yeah. that tap water... I think I, I, saw, I saw somebody talk about this on a podcast, but uh-huh. what if millions of girls, right, mm-hmm. are on birth control? Okay. Millions of girls are on birth control, and then they pee, and it goes into the water system. Yeah. Did they account for certain chemicals that can affect our hormones in the water? What? Think about that. So, so the... Because eventually that water gets back into the system, and... Are you sure it gets back into the system, it bro? It does get back into the system. You swear, know how water swear, works? Plumbing, it, there's a certain where it goes out to the lakes and shit. Yeah, but it gets recycled eventually. But it wouldn't have the same effects because everything gets purified, though. Or, or, or so or we assume, assume. Or so we assume, feel me? So it's like, say one day, like, you drink the wrong water. Say you drink the birth control water. Yeah. You, you're saying that. No, oh, I'm just saying, what if all water is the birth control water now? <laughs> No, for real. Because check this out. We're putting new every single day where there's new medi- medication, blah, blah, yeah. blah. For example, oh, fuck, this is getting like scary, but mm-hmm. there could be new drugs that we take, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And when we drink water, it affects that water when we pee. Mm-hmm. If you were to drink like somebody's pee, it definitely has some chemicals in it. Feel me? Yeah, but we're not drinking someone's pee, though. No, but. That's a certain. I know. It goes through the filtration. Yeah. It goes through the filtration. Uh-huh. But does it account for every single thing, especially if there's new chemicals? Do they always, do they patch update it? Fam, do they ever patch update the water filtration system? They have to. They have to because if, if we take in all those. I hope we so. Would've been, we would have been dead. We would have been dead if, uh, if, if all the birth control and all those chemicals get into our water and we drink that. What, so what why happens? is there still a disease? Bag uh, that, fam. Why is there still a disease then? <laughs> so so, it, maybe, so so you're saying some goes through some chemicals go through let's think about it like this right mm. if everything was clean and purified right yeah obviously there's dirty people in the world mm-hmm. but if our water system and usually we people get sick from what yeah water mm-hmm. that's like the number one thing is we get sick from water okay. or like airborne or whatever yeah. but even if it's airborne it's still mm-hmm. it's water particles so so we're saying let uh developed countries have way yeah obviously way better filtration systems and that's why we get sick less yeah but, but undeveloped countries undeveloped, yeah that's yeah why you can't drink water in mexico shit like exactly that. exactly that's what i'm saying okay makes sense makes sense because you can get sick like you drink you drink water from the philippines you can get sick yeah yeah because we're not you know i mean we're not accustomed to it too but we're just so used to it we're maybe we're just so used to those birth control chemicals that are in our water that oh they don't have to patch it for another five years because our body's already used to it mm-hmm. that's why maybe when uh, there's a whole bunch of sick people. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now this is where it gets crazy. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God, this is where it gets crazy, uh-huh. fam. Uh-huh. I hope we don't get flagged on this one. Yeah. So, fuck. All right. Mm-hmm. This is a true study. Like, Google this shit. Yeah. And you, you've probably seen it before. That the amount of testosterone for the average male has what in the past, like, 20 years? What? It's decreased. Like, oh, decreased? insane amounts. Yeah decrease crazy mm-hmm. could it be because a lot of girls are on birth control now birth control makes you what not wanna it affects your hormones it, it's like feminine hormones okay is that is that is a possibility there's definitely other factors in it too feel yeah. me like there's definitely other factors but i'm i'm 100 it should be a chemical one though because isn't everything in our body chemical yeah no but i don't know i don't think it's just the water though because it's got to be like we're not working out or we're not as healthy as we used to be. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I feel like, I feel like even though they've, uh, they've put way more chemicals to kill us off faster. That's why. Yeah. Didn't they kill off, um, Dr. Sebi, right? Yeah. But supposedly there's another guy who, um, told the FBI the cure for AIDS and shit like that. And he went, he went missing too. Cause everyone's saying that he was a time traveler. Oh, what and, the he, fuck? and he, cause this is the proof. Yeah. So he was a time traveler he was a time traveler gambler yeah. so he had a crazy run in the stock market in two weeks they found out that he turned 800 dollars mm-hmm. into 350 million doing what D- doing the stock market right and he did i think he did 21 crazy trades in the stock market so he had like inside info. yeah so he he knew what was going to happen obviously because he mm-hmm. time traveled right yeah. and this is the crazy thing so obviously if you're making that much noise in the stock market you're going to turn like heads right mm-hmm. so FBI comes, 
knocking on his door. Yeah. Yo, we saw what you did. You're getting arrested. And then you know what he told them? What? He's like, you know what? I'm 250 years into the future. And then they're like, what the fuck? So they're like, oh, no, we're, we're still going to arrest you. Mm. Like, but if you're in your plea deal, you have to tell us where Osama bin Laden is. And you have to, and you have to tell us uh, the cure for AIDS. And supposedly he did. There's an audio recording that obviously they couldn't air. Whoa. Yeah. So he actually knew everything. Yeah. And this is the crazier thing. Yeah. On his day of his bail hearing. Yeah. He disappeared right before it. What the fuck? Boom. And that, why do you think? Because he told. Yo, what's this guy's name? Do you know? Uh, Andrew here. Andrew Carlson. So back in 2003. This is real. Yeah. So he actually knows everything. What the fuck? Yeah. Fam, how, well, how, how do you explain making 800 to 350 mil? You would know the plays because you already know how shit turned out. Damn. You know? Do you think, do you think there's going to be a point that you can already predict the future because it's all AI? No. No, I don't think so. I think AI is, will give us hints, but... Like chat GPT and shit like that. We can type in what what will be in the future. Yeah. And then it'll only give us like a few details. I right, check this out. Mm -hmm. So did you know Captain America, the Winter Soldier? Yeah. That movie might have predicted the demise of everybody that thinks differently. What the hell? Check this shit out. In the movie, there was this, they had this algorithm mm -hmm. and it's a computer algorithm that can predict how everybody will turn out and if they're a danger to the agenda. Yeah. Okay. Now check this out, fam. Uh -huh. What is TikTok doing? It knows every single thing about us with our likes, our yeah. interests, our hobbies, who we are. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Yeah. What apps we use, what time we get off the app. We know if we like dogs or cats. They know if we like the color red or yellow. Now, you know that AI, Um, it's like the guesser. What's it called? Uh, the genie. Oh, um, Akinator. 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 You know how it always First guesses right, the person yeah. you, you're guessing, right? Uh -huh. Or you, you chose. is because it's narrowing every single thing down. So what if eventually TikTok is that algorithm they talked about in The Winter Soldier and they know exactly how your life is going to play out oh, even no. before you know it? And what if it can already predict the future because of it? So... The AI knowing every single person mm -hmm. and knowing what every single person is going to do yeah. can necessarily, that can predict the future on what the trends are going to be, mm -hmm. on what we're going to get into, what we're going to spend money on, yeah. how, we're, how it's going to affect our kids, how many kids we might have if we want to have kids at all. Mm -hmm. Think about that shit. Yeah. What if it's already predetermined now? But is there a way to escape it, you think? By just cutting off all social media or is it too late? No, but they probably already know. How, how much How much information do you need before it's too late? I know. That is true. Because I think it's just continuing. So let's say, let's say it's already been collected and it's still collecting. Mm -hmm. So let's say it's only been what? How many years of TikTok? Five, four? Five, yeah. Five. Now, imagine 20 years of TikTok and it's been doing the same Akinator shit. Yeah. It's been doing the Akinator like run. It's, it's like, okay, he's going to do this. He's going to do this. He's going to do this. Mm -hmm. What if it already predicted everything? No, that's actually mad scary because it's like, say um, police get to use that and it's like, oh, we can even track down a murderer yeah. just from, oh, if he likes uh, his Amazon purchases, yeah. his uh, YouTube searches. Or like he he watches this certain anime. Okay, yeah. boom, it's a red flag. It's a red you know, flag. It drops him down into yeah. this, this scenario and then boom, <laughs> he likes this TikTok, this TikTok yeah. and people that tend to like this TikTok are into this, blah, blah, blah. Yo. That just went in my head how crazy Akinator actually is. Because mm -hmm. he's just going to files and imagine how much, that's only for celebrities. Now imagine just regular people. Yeah. No, regular people. And crazy. now every single person in the world. What if, because yeah. cause that's possible. Mm-hmm. That's, that's dead as possible. Yeah, if I did Akinator with a regular person and I needed all the information or like to guess a regular person, it probably could. It could probably do that now. Yeah. Isn't that, what, 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 if that, what if that's already made? Why would they need that? The government. Oh, okay. It probably is. Like security purposes. Yeah. Like they know exactly where you are. They know exactly. Because theoretically speaking, mm -hmm. if, we were, if we wanted to be like the best capitalist society possible, we would use that AI and put people into the jobs that match to them best. Yeah, but we don't. Or eliminate the threats to the society. Mm. <laughs> and that's what they did in Captain America Winter Soldier. Yeah. And in Captain America Winter Soldier, the 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 elitist group, like the secret thing, mm -hmm. the secret community, yeah. they were kind of like the Illuminati in the movie. True. I swear to God, bro, Marvel predicts 
every single or not predicts, but they take on con- real life conspiracies. Yeah. No, it's because of just the symbolism. Obviously, that's one of the biggest movies. Why wouldn't they throw something in there? You know, even in the uh, the Kobe tribute. I don't know what this is crazy, but they held up Kobe's jersey mm-hmm. and behind it, out of every out of everything they could have put behind it on the screen, they put fire. Wait, but it looks cool. No, it doesn't, fam. Trust me. That's, <laughs> Wait, that's easy. Oh, fam, I just bagged it. In his tribute. Why would they lift up his jersey and right behind it is a bunch of fire? No, but that one, they use a lot, though. I don't know. Fire, bro. they use a lot, fam. Just for a person dying? I don't know about that one, bro. Especially that way. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, it's not right. That's just, like, bad timing. And if you saw the the um the takeoff, the takeoff tribute at the Grammys. What was it? So, uh, Quavo had a mask where it would circle his eye. It would circle his eye. He had, I, I don't know what it was, but it was like a black mask that only covered his face mm. and his and his eye. So it's the one eye symbol. Oh, like the Illuminati thing. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Like, yeah. It's out it, there it, it's too It's too obvious and shit, bro. Yeah. But I think it's, it's only going to be more and more obvious, but what are we, we going to do about that shit? Do? We can't, bro. They're I guess powerful. just boycott. Fam, why don't we just boycott every single celebrity that, that what we think is Illuminati, yeah, bro? I guess. You think it's possible? No, that's impossible, bro. Because that's just like all there. of them. Yeah, that's too much out there, dog. <laughs> what are we going to do as thing? Because, you know, fam, imagine uh, you point one out. Okay, boom, he's out, but you're gone too. So since they have way more than us, come on, bro. No, nah, there's more. There's more. No, no, but there's more consumers than there is I know, but, creators. But there's only a few that'll go out their way in. You feel me? And do it. Say again? Sorry. So there's... Even though we have a lot of people, yeah, ninety percent of them are still in the rat race. They don't care about that shit. True, you feel me? It's so, not important. Exactly, it's not important to them. But why is it important to them to to idolize? To idolize? If oh. it's important, okay. Look, people like idolize celebrities. Feel me? Mm-hmm. People do that. Yeah. So why is it not important to de-idolize people? Yeah, and we should be doing that because I guess there, there's they, people cancel, but not for the right reasons. But why? Let's say it's true. Let's say none of it is conspiracy about like Satanism and all that stuff yeah. within celebrities. Why are they not canceled? Like, why do people still, you know what I mean? What do you mean? Canceled? No, like, why don't you cancel people for being demonic as shit? Like, why didn't they cancel Lil Uzi yet? Yeah. Yeah, because because it's run by them. No, like, straight up, straight up. Like, if Lil Uzi said, like, yo, I'm a devil worshiper. And yeah. then, like, yo, if you listen to my music, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, you probably wouldn't be canceled because um, what do you call this? The whole industry is run by that one person, and they need all these icons and idols mm. that easily have influence on all the dumber people yeah. to stray them not to the right way, but you know. To the so, do you think they're just like smarter yeah, than, than the population? That's what it is. Way smarter. They they have a plan, while the, we're just going with it. Mm. Yeah, I think it can change. From I think you can start canceling people to be. Demonic. Demonic. Shit, who we canceling first, bro? <laughs> I, th- I, like, I think Loki. Who's these fucking I demonic? Think, bro? Do you think? Do you think that the the cancel culture will cancel itself out soon? I have that feeling. I don't know why. We mean cancel culture cancel itself out. Yeah. So people are gonna since we're finally catching on to um because I believe there's no really there's nothing such as a cancel culture. It's yeah. just pick and choose, right? Because I say because people who are saying oh cancel Balenciaga, right? Yeah. They have friends that wear Balenciaga. They're still hanging out with them. So it's like who you're picking and choosing who you really support, you know? So mm. it's like, I don't. I feel like cancel culture soon will cancel itself out because it doesn't make sense. Yeah, kind of. You kind of know what I'm saying? Kind of, kind of. But I this was going to be my first tweet on Twitter. I still haven't even tweeted it. Yeah. But I was going to tweet up, straight up, y'all should cancel Twitter because it probably caused more deaths than this than some of the things that you guys are canceling anyway. Mm-hmm. Think about that. How many Twitter beefs happen? How many people, you know what I mean? How, many, yeah. how much shit happened because of Twitter or drama? I swear the, the White House rating happened because of Twitter, no? Because of Twitter or something like so that. So why didn't they just cancel Twitter? Because instead that's- of, No, instead of canceling like the individuals that done it, why don't you just cancel the whole thing? Boom, no, no, no more problems. No more future problems. That, that shit swept under the I air, know, no? I know, I it's, know. It's way easier than it looks, bro, because it's like the cancel culture people think they're in that culture, so why take away that culture that they're in? That's like, that's like saying, it's, it's, we live in Canada, why would we get rid of Canada? No, it's accountability. It's accountability. Yeah. They know, okay, this social media platform causes the most issues. Mm-hmm. Has there ever been, there's definitely been like other beefs through like Instagram and Facebook, but not on the level of Twitter. Yeah. I feel like the most controversy happens because of Twitter. So why don't you just turn that shit off? 
yeah. boom. I feel like it'll be less, no? Yeah. At least a little bit. Hey, man. That's the influence I have, bro. At least a little bit, right? <laughs> About a bit. But now it's too late because Elon owns that. Yeah. Now it's like free. You get to say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. No, but is it even... I, I'm pretty sure you can still get canceled on Twitter. Or you can, you can, still, no, you get can still get... still get canceled, Restricted whatever. or whatever. Yeah. You can still get silenced. Like, Aiden, he's getting silenced on Twitch and he's moving somewhere else. You know, like, shit, that shit like that always happens. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't know if there's... Do you think Elon's on, on the side of the people? Or is he just, like, playing a game? No, he's probably not. <laughs> he's probably not. The smartest man... In, he's probably, like, richest man in the world. Obviously, he's going to side with the things that make him more money. And that's the evil side. Mm. You know, if if I I would have probably done the same shit too, bro. Yo, if I had that much money, I was watching this movie. Um, sorry to bother you. Yeah, you ever heard about this? No, I haven't. So pretty much the movie is about is this black guy, mm -hmm. and he's in the office and he's working like you know that phone job where he, he does sales. Okay, yeah. But in order to get sales, he doesn't use his regular voice. Mm -hmm. He talks like a you know what I mean. He he talks with like a very prop proper voice. Hello there, how are you doing today? Yeah, you know what I mean. Very casual you know very professional like caucasian mm -hmm. voice okay I okay guess. okay yeah, yeah but anyways um in the movie later on he climbs his way to the top of the company and the company that he works for had a malicious plan to turn everybody and give everybody a disease that turns them into a horse it's it's weird it's weird i know yeah. it's a stan uh lucky stanfield movie okay it's really weird, mm -hmm. but once he got to the top, they were asking that guy, like, we want you to become a horse too, but we want to still control you. So yeah. we want you to join the rebel side and cause a revolution, mm -hmm. but we want that so there's more press on it and there's more attention. Yeah. So even the leader of the revolution is on the side of the people of the people up top. Now, if you think about it, that's total control, fam. Mm. So not only do you control like the people from that standpoint, you, you control also, because of the the leader of the revolution. Is so I think that's that's a proper way to do it, though, because you have both sides now. Now check this out: every single like social justice mm -hmm. activist, yeah, we have to look at where they planted. But do we ever? Nah, bro. <laughs> Did we we just go off what like that, bro? Yeah. Think about that. Do we ever do we ever look at like yo, where did this social activist come from? <laughs> no, bro. Where did uh, Grace that where little Greta, girl, Greta, Thunberg, Greta, Greta yeah. Thunberg come from? Apparently she's a Rothschild. Stay honest. Yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. You know, that actually I'm pretty sure like her uncle is a Rothschild and then she's still part of that lineage. Yo. Exactly. Yeah, because fam, Ellen, part of the Rothschilds too. We didn't know where she came from until, exactly. until she came out. Like, those people that just pop up, we have to ask, like, what? And then oh. now it gets even crazier because we don't even know lineage because it's erased it's or, like, erased, people have bro. fake identities or whatever. Yeah. Fuck, yeah, we have to, yo. And it gets even crazier because, yo, like, who's stopping? You know how there's AI of, of uh, everything now? Like, you can fake a person talking, you can fake their voice, blah, blah, blah. Now, you know how Amber Heard and then Johnny Depp, they had that court case with the audio and like, oh, this is proof. This is proof, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, can't they now like fake shit? So is that even proof anymore? Mm -hmm. Just now, because I swear it just happened last year with the, with the audio AI. Yeah. So is audio proof even valid anymore? Probably not, bro. Is video proof even valid? Now? Is anything valid, bro? Is anything even valid? I don't even know, cause fam, there was some uh, this Twitch streamer who's getting lots of flack right now for what? Because um, he supposedly watched po uh, what's that porn with the oh deep fake porn? Oh, Pokemon! No, no, it was a. I think it no, was, it was Pokemon. Oh, it was Pokemon, bro. Pokemon and some other girl too. Yeah, but he came on camera. He's like, I clicked the link. Uh, and I watched it and I downloaded it and I shared it around and shit like that because I was curious. As <laughs> the comments killed me because obviously the internet is going to troll. He's yeah. like, this guy's getting in trouble for shit that I do every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you know why? It's because yeah. he cared too much yeah. and it's because he was ashamed. I know. If there's no shame, nobody cares. Yeah, exactly. And But that was also his friends though, so I get why he was ashamed. You obviously don't put your friends on a defake porn and watch that. That's pretty really fucked up too, yeah. That's really fucked up. That's his, wait, that's, he's friends with them? Yeah, fam. 
They're, they're friends. They're all friends. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. And that's why. Never mind. That's kind of crazy, exactly, bro. Exactly. That's kind of crazy. That's a different. Oh, I know. That's, that's like that's cheating. That's weird. Yeah. And he has a girl. And he has a girl. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, that's weird. Trope? But at least like claim up to it. Like, yo, man. He I'm did, like, that's what he said. That's why he came on camera and said that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he said like, oh, man, I was just horny yeah. and shit. Yeah, for sure. He, he, he said that? Yeah. He okay. W. Kind of Kinda not W, but it's like. No, at least like take accountability. You know what I mean? Everybody makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Like, yeah, it's all right, bro. Like, Fuck, shit, man. you face consequences already. Like, uh-huh. nobody, nobody, everybody thinks you're a weirdo. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, in my opinion, I don't think we should take. You know how they say like you shouldn't be the judge, ex- executioner, and jury at the same time. Yeah. So you know how, let's say somebody does something bad, right? Mm. Is it on us? To be like social justice warriors and be like, yo, this is bad. We should make a difference, blah, blah, blah. Is it up to us or should we let nature play out itself? No, I think it is up to us because we dictate like, if we think we're always like justice, justice. No, no, no. My bad, my bad. Okay. So are we not trusting the justice system that we already have? Boom. Mm. Because if we have to take it to ourselves and cancel, cancel, blah, blah. This has to be this, has to be this. On social media, blah, blah, blah. Are, okay, does that mean we have to change the justice system? Yeah, okay, then let's address that point rather than doing this shit ourselves, no? Mm, yeah, I don't know, because we're always preaching justice, justice, and then obviously we think it's out of our hands. Maybe it's that, remember the Grammys thing that I talked about? That's what the rich do to piss us off more, because even though they know that's that's wrong with what they did, the people have no say in it. Exactly, like what's the point of making it blah, 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 yeah, making yeah. noise? What are we actually doing? Yeah just pissing off the people yeah so why don't you just go write some letters and change the justice system instead yeah you know what i mean i feel like they would never listen though i feel like that's that's been tried been done protests shit like that obviously nothing's gonna change why don't okay this is why i still don't understand if we live in a true democracy how come we can't all just vote on some shit like when it happens why isn't that true democracy yeah why can't we just like let's say there's there's an issue that pops up in the world in the government why can't we just all vote on our phones like okay we're gonna change a lot to this why can't we just all vote okay boom and then you vote boom we don't have to show each other blah blah blah. but it can happen right how we're feeling right when it happens legit real time Mm -hmm. why can't we do that we have the technology for it too much power though the power it's it's getting thrown off you know how there's always they always got to have more power the people should never have the power. That's like they're they're made. If if say we walk into the the fucking Illuminati building, yeah, <laughs> their main slogan: "People should not have the power." Right? Like, yeah. why why can't we just have a voting system like that and all? Why can't you just that should be like a cahoot? Who said who said that that? You know what I mean? No, dead ass, bro. Like, <laughs> why can't shit just be real time like a cahoot? Mm. <laughs> Nah, I don't think that shit that shit gonna work, bro. I think you just talking, you chatting, bro. Yeah, in that sense, yeah. Everything's a yes or no. Yeah, obviously. That's just life in general. Your path. That's why I'm saying Kahoot is life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro. <laughs> I'm done, bro. I'm done. There's gotta be one big prank of you just trying to say the most outlandish thing, and I have to agree with it. That's gotta be that's gotta be your challenge today. That like you probably wrote that on a chart. Alright, let's see. Let, let's see if I can make Gavin agree with this. How Kahoot is like No I'm just I'm low-key just curious Like how many Random things I can say And people will be like Oh shit that's crazy Yeah Probably a lot <laughs> Probably people People were probably Agreeing with you While they were watching it No I have some real facts though No but I think The point I'm trying to get across uh, Is you can literally Go off of anything And make anything important mm. Like I can make This important If I really wanted to If I put enough energy Momentum Convince enough people To believe in what this is Shit I can I can convince people that this is an animal that got extinct. Mm. Yo, we don't even know if dinosaurs actually look like this. This is just a theory. Yeah, everything's actually a theory if we really bag it. The only thing that's not a theory is the things that you can see right in front of you. Not everything's a theory. Even the Big Bang, the the Earth itself is a theory. Like we don't know exactly how it is. Like we can put names to things. If you think about it, mm. names of molecules people made made it up. Yeah. Like we attached verbs, nouns, and everything, names to everything, right? Mm -hmm. Like this wasn't called an iPhone before. We didn't even know what the device of a phone was before, right? Mm -hmm. Like every single thing is made up. It's a it's everything's a theory. So what I'm trying to get at is like, why do we treat 
everything so seriously. Like it has to be this, this is that. Yo, at some point we're all human. Like we all just make stuff up and we all just say some dumb shit sometimes. Yeah. It's just and at some point, someone like me will take it so serious and convince everybody, nah, this is what it is. Mm. And then everybody's mind has to believe it. Yeah. Now, going back to the monarchy thing, if everybody's in a monarchy and we all believe into one thing, yeah, then it becomes true. Then it becomes true. Mm. Then it becomes true. And that's what I'm trying to get at where we don't even know the truth of what things are. We don't even know if the news is true. Yeah. There was a there was a, another Netflix show uh that tried that got canceled because yeah. they were speaking too much facts. Because uh there was a one scene where it's like uh one person on the news and then it just cut to consume 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 and they were like oh they were shit. Up. it was fuck i forgot what it's called wait it was, is it after party or not no it was something that's else. that's that's the one with kid cuddy kid cuddy went a, to like, it the was like an animation one it was an animation oh cartoon. no that's um i talked about this this is the inside job inside job yeah, yeah, yeah it got yeah, canceled yeah. because it was is too much yeah and they were canceling people because it's literally that that they were exposing the news like consume this consume this consume this shit like that yeah bro because at the end of like we don't even know shit yeah. like if i tell you oh the sky is blue. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we can look outside and see the sky blue. Okay, boom, yeah. it's blue. Mm-hmm. Who made up the word blue? Yeah, I do. <laughs> like, who? And somewhere else, they don't even call it blue. They call it yeah. They call it like a different azul. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, you want to end it? I'll end yes, it there. Then. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> this guy's tired. All right, thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure to download this episode on Spotify and Apple if you guys want to listen to us when you're on the drive on to work or you guys want to exercise. Make sure to follow us on Instagram too. Link in the description below. And Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.